Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Emily. If you are a returning subscriber, you, sweetheart, I'm a favorite person. You don't even know it yet. So today I want us to make two recipes. I want us to make the easy recipe and the forgiving recipe. The easy recipe is going to be pineapple juice. You know, vibes. <laughs> and the forgiving recipe is going to be banana, passion fruit cupcakes i'm going to show you each and every step because i'm that girl that puts you on okay so let's start with the easy recipe which is now the pineapple juice so to make the pineapple juice you need pineapples you need peach water or peaches if you're rich because i can't find peaches <laughs> and the next thing you'll need is uh, sugar and uh, half a block of ice cubes so let's do that okay um you need pineapple this is like a small sized pineapple the next thing you're going to need is uh, peach water you need half a bottle of peach water but this is like a quarter so i'm going to add more there you go the next thing you're going to need is uh, a quarter cup of sugar but if you don't like sugar, you can make honey sweet, hey. So I'm going to pick sugar as well. But if you, like I said, if you don't like sugar, just use honey. So that's it. This is all you need. Peach water, sugar, and pineapples. The next thing you need is a blender, which is what I'm going to pick now. Don't worry if you see a cabbage inside my cabinet. It means... The girl is living healthy, sweetheart. Okay, so that's my blender. There you go. All right, so we are ready to go. So the first thing we're going to do is cut these pineapples into cubes this is an overripe uh, pineapple it's like a medium sized pineapple like the ones you can see on my fruit basket it's like this it's the same size okay so we're going to cut it as i'm doing and then you're just going to place that into your blender Right. The next thing you're going to add is a uh, peach water. This is like a quarter, so I'm going to put one more. If you have peaches, if you have peaches, you're rich. You're very rich because I can't find peaches in supermarket, but use them if you have them. Then this is a block of ice cubes. You add that. So the last thing that you're going to add is like uh, 200 and, uh, not 200, but um, like, that was like 500 ml of water. That's the last thing you're going to add. Okay. Then you lock. And you blend that all together. Right. Once you're done, you're not going to sieve this using a sieve. So you're going to sieve this through patience here. Alright guys, easy peasy, lemon squeezy, and we're done. 
So this one you can get from your favorite supermarket. Goes for about um, 60, 50 shillings, there about. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is now store our juice. All right. So for the one that I'm ready to drink, I just usually put it here. The one that I intend to store, I just put it here. All right. So let me taste. My lipstick is the grandest, the most glamorous red that has ever been made. It's a uh, dance with me by Mark. And it does not leave lipstick stains. All right, guys, so that's how you make pineapple peach juice. The peach is very heavy in this water. That's why I recommend you use peach water, peach flavored water if you don't have peaches, all right? So this one, I'm going to store in the fridge and make sure you consume within three days. I'm also going to store this. I'm actually not going to store this. I'm actually going to give my sister this to drink because she's here. <laughs> and she's sick. <laughs> I'm taking care of her. <laughs> but it's all good. Okay. And then you make sure you store your juice in the fridge and consume within three days. So now let's make the forgiving recipe. So the first thing you're going to need is two refrigerated overripe bananas. These are very ripe, overripe. You will need all-purpose flour. You'll need um, the passion fruit essence. I use the festival one. You'll need Nutella. You'll need baking powder and you will also need a cinnamon i know it's not that far because i used it not long ago oh really okay okay fish where the hell are you all right here's my cinnamon And last but not least, you'll need vegetable oil. So the first thing we're going to do is peel your bananas. Guys, this is literally how your banana needs to look like. Wow. Remove all the strings. Two bananas are enough for this recipe. The next thing you're going to pick is your potato masher, the one that you use to mash your potatoes and mash these bananas. If you don't have a potato masher, you can use a fork. It's easy as well. And you mash them to perfection. It shouldn't be hard. But at least make sure that you mash them. Alrighty, okay, okay, sweetheart. 
So that's it. The bananas are mashed to my taste. The next thing you're going to do is beat an egg. Add half a cup of sugar. That's enough. And mix this all together. Your egg could be room temperature, it could be refrigerated. It doesn't matter, that's why I say this is a very forgiving recipe because you don't really need to follow the rules. Like you're supposed to follow all the rules in paste when making pastries. So this one is a bit forgiving, you can just hack everything. As you can see, I'm not even using a mixer to do it. I'm just doing my thing, okay? Well, make sure that this is thoroughly mixed. You don't even have to use the egg whites, just a whole egg is sufficient. The next thing you're going to do is grab milk. So guys, I'm eyeballing my milk, but uh, like a quarter cup of milk will be enough or yogurt, whichever it is that you have. All right, mix that all together until all the sugar has dissolved. Because I have enough milk left, I'm just going to use all of it. There's no need. So that's like a third a cup of milk. Okay. My sugar is dissolving. The next thing I'm going to add here is a half a teaspoon of the passion fruit essence. I think I'm going to add, okay? And then mix that all together. Once your sugar has dissolved, you pour that mixture into the banana mash, into the banana mash. Alright, place that aside. and mix all these together. So these are your wet ingredients. All right, place that aside and then, and then into a separate bowl, mix Then into a separate bowl, you're going to mix one cup of flour, all-purpose flour. That's half a cup. That's one cup. And then you're going to add one tablespoon Of baking powder all 
all right that's enough you can add a quarter teaspoon of baking soda or you can leave it out i think i'm just going to add that as well and then i'm just going to put a quarter teaspoon a quarter teaspoon of baking soda And then last but not least, I'm going to eyeball cinnamon. Just three or four these those <laughs> are enough. And then you mix that all together. Okay, and then you now pour these in here and mix all together guys as you can see everything is easy i'm trying not to complicate the recipe for you you don't have to use a hand mixer or any mixer you can just use a fork or a spoon to mix everything Alright guys, so I'm done mixing, that is my consistency and I'm happy with that. I forgot to add this, but I'm going to add it here, don't worry, things will still be perfect. Like I said, this is a very forgiving recipe. That's a third cup of uh, vegetable oil. As you're mixing your wet ingredients, that would have been the perfect time to add in your vegetable oil. But it's all good, don't worry. Alright, that's it. And that's the final consistency that I'm happy with. Okay. The next thing I'm going to do is uh, grab some Nutella to your liking, yeah? Mine's going to be like three tablespoons, okay? So the next thing I'm going to grab is this cook and bake nonstick spray. I also need these small baking tins because I want cute shapes and uh, the cupcake one. And last but not least, I'm going to pick the cupcake paper holders. I'm sure that's not what they are called, but this is what I'm working with, okay? Right, so I'm going to pour a mixture there. Three tablespoons for each. Don't worry about the mess I'll make. I'll wipe it as soon as I'm done. So spray in your nonstick baking spray. The tins are nonstick, but you know the devil is very busy, especially when it comes to me and making pastries. But don't worry. So I'm going to pour some there. Right, 
and some here. Add more there. The final step is to soften this uh, Nutella. Okay, so I'm just going to put that there. Spread your Nutella across. Some put it at the center. I just prefer mine to be like an even spread. All right, like that. So do the same for the cupcakes as well. So make sure you do that quickly and carefully because Nutella gets back in its solid form very quickly. All right, so like that, that. And that, some actually mix their Nutella but I prefer to put mine on top instead of just mixing it with the with the cake mix, okay? This is a dirty job, but a forgiving recipe. Your take home for today is that this is a forgiving recipe and I'm not an expert when it comes to pastries, okay? Yeah, so that's it. This I can tell you I'm going to leave this bowl clean. Better believe that. Right guys, so that's it. Alright guys, at this time you should have preheated your oven into 20 minutes for 180 degrees and then uh, you place in your cake mix. So mine's been preheated for like 25 minutes in 180 degrees. So I'm just going to put that in the oven. Then next I'm going to put this one. And last but not least, I'm going to put this and you have to be very careful. So guys, I'm going to wait for it to bake for 20 minutes. I have to keep an eye on that because uh, I had preset a whole 38 minutes so when it's about 17 minutes left that's when I'll take it out so what you need to understand is you're baking your cupcakes for 180 degrees for 25 minutes but you should have preheated your oven in the same temperature for 20 minutes okay all right guys all right guys the time is up so let's check and hope Everything is okay. Woo, woo, woo. Here we go. All right. Okay.
All right, guys, so I'm just going to dip in a toothpick. All right, so I think they are ready. So I'm just going to wait for them to cool for like another 30 minutes and then we can taste together or I'll bring a tester here. My sister is here, so she'll be the perfect tester. All right, guys, so my cakes have cooled down and I just wanted to show you the reason why I use the non-stick spray. You can see my cake did not get stuck. And uh, I got these at uh, ShopRite. I don't remember the price, but if you don't have these, it's okay. You can just use your non-stick pan, but uh, use some flour and margarine. Just spread it all over your pan just before you put your cake mix. All right, so now it's time for me to taste. So guys, we have a... <laughs> focus. Uh, more in focus. <laughs> So guys, we have a guest tester. She has already eaten one <laughs> or two, if I'm not wrong. So let her give a review as we cheers. This is my name, Yako. Okay, I'm going to give a bus. So, the cupcakes are soft. Mm -hmm. Zinanja mostly banana, mm -hmm. the taste of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and they're sweet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cheers to health and soft life. And soft life. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye. Cheers.